A barn of bunkum. Bible beaten bastard. You ass! You have no more right to spit on his religion than you have the right to spit on my religion. Well, what do you know? Henry Drummond, even in defense of his enemies. There was greatness in that man. <laughs> Shall I put that in his obituary? Oh, you can write any damn thing you like. How do you write an obituary for a man who's been dead for 30 years? In memoriam MHP? Then what? Hail the apostles whose letters to the Corinthians never was? Two years, ten years. The tourists will ask the guy. Who died here? Matthew Hansen. Who? It fits. What did he say to the minister? He wrote his own obituary. The national kid up for weeping water in Nebraska who flooded the nation like a one-man Mississippi. Do you know what he was? That's where it is. Barnum Bunkum Bible beaten bastard. No. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> no. And then I say, you, you go through that and I say, he, uh, <coughs> he who troubleth this house shall inherit the wind. Uh -huh. And a fool shall be served to the wise heart. We're growing a odd crop of agnostics this year. You know, Hornbeck, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of you. Why? Because you never pushed a nut and now up against the verb, except to blow something oh, up. Oh, that's a typical lawyer's trick, accusing the accuser. What am I accused of? I charge you with contempt of conscience, self-perjury, kindness of forethought, and sentimentality in the first degree. Why? Because I won't erase a man's life? I tell you, the brain had the same rights as Kate's. Be kind to bigots. Be kind to bigots, weak. Since Brady's gone, oh, we've got to be kind. How oh, this world is rotten with kindness. A giant once lived in that body. But Matt Brady got lost. To look for God too high up and too far away. You hypocrite. You fraud. You're more religious than he was. Excuse me, gentlemen. I must find my typewriter and hammer out a story about an atheist that believes in God. Yeah, I didn't say any of the lines that I had earlier. We didn't get to it. Oh, Bert! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> there you go. Let's go back five pages. <clears throat> Get going. There's probably more people ain't peeled over in this heat. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm not sure, but I'm leaving my father. Rach. It's my fault the jury found guilty, Bert. <laughs> but it's partly my fault. I helped. This is your book. I've read it all the way through. Well, I don't understand it. What I do understand, I don't lack. I don't want to think that men came from apes and monkeys, but I think that's beside the point. That's right. That's beside the point. Mr. Drummond, I hope I haven't said anything to offend you. Oh. See, I haven't really thought very much. I was always afraid of what I might think, so it seems safer not to think at all. But now I know. A thought is like a child inside your body. It has to be born. If it dies inside you, how do you die too? Well, maybe what Mr. Darwin wrote is bad. Bad or good, it doesn't, doesn't matter. The ideas have to come out, like children. Some of them healthy as a bean plant, and some sickly. Well, I think the sickly ideas die mostly. <laughs> Don't you, Bert? <coughs> Brady is dead. Oh, dear. What caused it, did they say? I... I... I got my knees here. <laughs> well, I, oh, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. going for it because no one was... <laughs> yeah. It was taking a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, now I can't even remember. Oh, 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 dear. I'm gonna miss that man. I can't imagine a world without Matthew Harrison Brady. What caused it, did they say? Bruce! Yeah. Bruce! What what happened there? Well, you skipped. Uh, That's okay. He 
Keep going, please. Okay. to the illiterate. Why should we weep for him? He wept enough for himself. The tear duct of, of weeping water in Nebraska who flooded this nation like a one-man Mississippi. You know what he was? A barn of bumpkin by the beaten bastard. <laughs> you ask. <laughs> you ask. You have no more right to spit on his religion than you have the right to spit on my religion. You still miss that in the whole scene. Well, Keep going. what do you know? Henry drug him, even in defense of his enemies. There was greatness in that name. Shall I put that in the obituary? Ah, oh, you can write any damn thing you'd like. <laughs> How do you write an obituary for a man who's been dead for 30 years? A memoriam MHB, then what? Hail the letter to the apostles who was lost in the mail? Two years, ten years, the tourists lost the guy. Who died here, Matthew Harrison? Who? What did he say to the minister? It fits. He wrote his own obituary. Here's his book. Proverbs, wasn't it? Oh. He who troubled with his own house shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise oh. in heart. Oh, we're growing an odd crop of agnostics this year. You know, I'm getting damn sick and tired of you, Hornbeck. Why? Well, because you never pushed a nun up a nun. Never pushed a nun up a nun. I'd like to. Pushed a nun up against a tree. How do you know that? I think you have. Wow. Henry Drummond. <laughs> Flinging those guns around. <laughs> Shame on you. You never pushed a noun up against the verb except to blow something up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a typical lawyer's trick. Accusing the accuser. So what am I accusing? I charge you with contempt of conscience, self perjury, kindness of forethought, and sentimentality in the first degree. Why? Because I wouldn't erase a man's life? I tell you, I tell you that Brady had the same rights as Kate. Oh, 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 be kind to bigots, sweet. Now that Brady's been gone, we've got to be kind. Oh God, how this world is rotten with kindness. A great man, with a, a giant lived in that body. But Matt Brady got lost. He looked for God too high up and too far away. Hypocrite. You fraud! You're more religious than he was! Excuse me, gentlemen! I must find my typewriter and hammer out a story about an atheist who believes in God! Colonel Drummond? Oh, Bert! I'm resigning my commission in the state militia. I'm handing in my sword. Doesn't it cost a lot of money for an appeal? I couldn't pay you. Oh, uh, well, I didn't come here to be paid. Anyway, I've got to get myself on a train. Well, there's one of at 513, for you and I could be on that train. I'll get my stuff. I'll help you. <laughs> See you at the depot. <laughs> oh, wait, you forgot to. You did a lot of religion. You did a lot of religion. 